Hello everyone, my name is Nolim. I am showing you uh, another tutorial VLOOKUP with multiple workbook. We have two folder or two Excel workbook here. We have page 1 and uh, we have page 2. Now, which is this two? Okay, whenever I am working. Uh, with two excel workbook i like to be able to see both side by side so first step that we are going to click uh, to view okay click arrange wall after we do that we go to vertical and then click ok now create a new column title go ahead and type it in here it is going to be filled annual salary and this is in column J of page one work book now we look up function we need to go ahead and start with an equal sign as we are always use an equal sign to start any function in excel so equal sign first step then i type the vlookup now we are going to indicate for this first field of our function is what value we want to look up well we want we want smith annual salary now we cannot just look up his salary straight up but we know that his salary is listed in another folder in the other workbook and that his salary is listed related to his employee id number so what we are going to look up is employee id number is other workbook so i am selected id number a2 you know a2 as i am working in row 2 so a2 comma uh, to move on the next step table array we actually going to click over here and activate this one we want to select this entire array of the table Now I click back to the sheet and I can see here that uh, page 1 excel sheet is titled uh, in single parenthesis and then the exclamation mark finish the title of the worksheet. Before that exclamation mark hey go over to this other file pull the array from here and this right here is the relative coordinates of that array now i hit comma uh, uh, to move on the next column index number column index number then the column index number is basically going this is wire the wire we indicate in our function wire within the array that we just select which column of the array is data and i want to pull now we jump over to here to pick our column um, here i can calculate uh, that would be index as a1 b as 2 c as 3 and d as 4 and so on and forth in interval of counting uh, 
by 1 so with that we would just count over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 uh, column number 9 so I go back to uh, here and hit number 9 then go ahead and put comma basically I am finished with uh, that part so my VLOOKUP function now this is the final and it's just part of the uh, function if we select true approximate match then it should then it select some round number so we don't want that we want false exact match so in order to select that we need to double click a false exact match and down then I hit the close pencils okay uh, close pencils and hit the enter key and got the result okay now placing my cursor uh, now placing my cursor over the corner of the bottom right corner of the cell that we have selected so again select the cell that already has this function already written out in it place the cursor over the bottom right corner so that the cursor indicate turn to a solid back plus sign and that click and hold the drop and it all the way down to the bottom wire you want it to be or the bottom wire you want to finish applying this function in a relative manner these values are not formatted the same uh, as the number value over one this other table these values are not formatted the same as the number value over one this other table to the right so in order to fix that we can select them again and then we go the number format in the format cell okay and we choose currency as dollar okay and all our changes thank you watching and get more update to get more update please subscribe my channel bye bye